The National Association for the Visual Arts acknowledges the Gadigal peoples of the Eora Nation where our office is located, and all custodians of country throughout all lands, waters and territories. We pay our respects to Elders past, present and future. I'm Black Agus, Corey Artist from Sydney, originally from Western Sydney. I descend from Dungadi people from the north coast of New South Wales and I'm known for painting canvases. What has been a turning point in your career? I'd have to say the main turning point in my career was being poached from my very first major exhibition in Sydney by an interstate gallery. Having a director come up to me and um, slip their card into my hand and uh, insist that we must speak. And that culminated in exhibiting with that gallery in Melbourne for around three years. And um, that's certainly a feather in the cap for an emerging artist. It certainly makes you feel a little bit more proper. Is there anything you would like to see reshaped in the art sector? Uh, first of all, we need to take artists more seriously. So we need more federal government backing, which will trickle out into the state government funding opportunities for artists to exist, make it a little bit easier for artists to coexist within community less corporate backing. Now, I don't know whether the two can be separated, like making cheese, but um, that's what we really need to do, I think. Um, perhaps private philanthropy could aid artists to have a more stable existence, but certainly uh, what needs to be done straight away is to have more federal backing for artists and through, uh, through grants and funding opportunities. How does your practice overlap with arts advocacy? I guess my practice speaks as an example of the things that we need to change within the establishment. And so unfortunately, uh, many of us remain subordinated, particularly as a First Nations artist or a First Nations curator. We're subordinated under the white thumb of colonialism and colonial input into funding establishments. And so it's old money that funds the establishments here. And so uh, my art is just one of many contemporary First Nations art practices that is still trying to convince the establishments here to give us a, a space on the wall without being subordinated and without being um, quarantined. What brings you joy in your work? Making a sale. Um, you've got to pay the studio rent. But to be honest, the ultimate joy for me is knowing that I'm studied within the um, New South Wales curriculum and I never expected that would happen given I'm a self-taught artist and um, I was not a made artist out of uh, art school and so to battle on for 20 years in my own practice and in my own head to arrive at being studied in the curriculum and having year 12 artists email me and ask can they use images in their major work um, that to me really brings a smile to my face and gives me a sense of belonging within the arts world.